Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Topps Finest Baseball. Eight box random team break number one. One spot gets you two random teams each. All card ship, a lot of great stuff here. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. We'll double you up. Oh, double up. Oh, oh. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up and congrats again to the people who won spots in that capstone filler pack break. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Three and a two. Five times each. One, two, three, four, and five. Got James down to Tristan. Three and a two. Five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. We got Marlins down to the Nationals. All right, James with the Marlins and the Phillies, Brian with the Rockies with Last Spot Mojo, Michael with the Cardinals, Gabe with the Braves, Michael with the Diamondbacks, Jacob with the Mets, Jake with the Twins, Nicole with the Guardians, John with the uh, White Sox, Eric, Eric Houston with Houston and the Angels, Stephen with the Red Sox, Jacob with the Pirates, Tristan with the Reds, Stephen with the Rays, Chris with the A's, James, you got my Dodgers, Jake with the Yankees, Brian with the Giants with your other last spot mojo, Tristan with the Brew Crew, Nicole with the Tigers and Orioles, John with the Rangers, Nicole with the Blue Jays, Tristan with the Royals, Chris with the Padres, Gilo with the Cubs, James with the Mariners, and Tristan with the Washington Nationals. Remember, this is 2020 edition. Let's sort by team right here. So keep that in mind as you trade. Trade window is now open. We're going to pause the, win uh, pause the window, pause the video for the trade window that's open. And when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals were done here in 2020 Finest Baseball. Eight box, random team break number one. Full case break. Thanks, everyone, for making this happen. I appreciate it. And we were very careful to write 2020 on, on here. And on here, we didn't, we didn't want to accidentally mistake it for uh, 2022 finest. Good luck, everybody. Ichiro on the box. 2020 finest. Two autographs per box on average. So one, at one in each mini box. Gilo, what are you looking for here? You're looking for some Austin Riley, some Nico Horner. Rex was saying earlier that Nico Horner got a contract extension today. Or was it Ian Happ? Or was it none of those guys? All right. An all card ship, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, it was Nico. Three year deal.
All right. We got 10 out of 50, J.D. Martinez, Red Sox edition. Miss Bo Bichette. J.D. Martinez, gold, goes to Boston. That's for Stephen Carney. It's with, uh, with my Dodgers now. Got a Dustin May rookie card, Bruce Dar Gratterall, and we got a Sheldon Noisy rookie auto for the A's, Chris Walker with the Athletics. It's supposed to be a breakout season for Gavin Lux, but maybe it will be for Dustin May. That's for James and the Dodgers. We got a Nick Solak, purple to 250 for the Rangers. That'll be for John. There's a Jordan Alvarez rookie card. Nice. And a finest first insert for Houston. It's going to go to Eric Houston and Houston. Kind of hard to read the, number, the names on this side here, but there's Travis Demery, rookie auto for Nicole in Detroit. There's Nico Horner right there. This is who uh, g is looking for. I'll sleeve one of these up for you, g -Lo. No, he's not Jordan level. But just for you. That'll get the top load. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, listen, the baseball season is just right around the corner. So I think uh, I think this Dodgers Angels game might be the is the late game. This might be the last spring training game. All the other uh, final sort of spring training tune-up games are I think in the books. We got a day off tomorrow, the 29th, and then March 30th, Thursday, March 30th. Game one of 162, we embark upon another long season. What's the first game of the day? There are two first games of the day, both 105 Eastern starts. And that is Braves at Nationals. Uh, looks like Max Fried and Patrick Corbin. And then Giants at Yankees. Two early games right there. Uh, looks like Logan Webb, yeah, Webb, yeah, Logan Webb versus uh, Garrett Cole. Then we got another game, two ten Eastern, Baltimore at Boston. Baltimore had a really nice year last year. We got uh, then 10 minutes out of that, 2.20 Eastern. That's Rex's Cubs. Brewers at Cubs in a division rival matchup. 3.10 Eastern, Detroit at Tampa Bay. Then we got Philadelphia at Texas. Pittsburgh at Cincinnati. Colorado at San Diego. Toronto at St. Louis. Minnesota's in, uh, in Kansas City. The Mets are in Miami. The White Sox are in Houston. Angels are in Oakland, Arizona. Diamondbacks are in L.A. playing the Dodgers. And then the uh, Guardians are in Seattle. That's the late game. Got Gavin Lux to 150 for the Dodgers. That will be for James. 
baseball is back. Good to see. And we got uh, Michael Chavez, 40 out of 150. Blue for the Red Sox, Stephen Carney in Boston. There's a Luis Robert rookie refractor. White Sox, John with the White Sox. Always a team that I think last few years I've been saying, man, these guys look great on paper, but it just hasn't really clicked just yet. And we got an Abraham Toro rookie auto for the Astros. Eric Houston with Houston. I don't think he's with Houston right now. I think he's in... Is he in Seattle, maybe? trying to think outside of outside of your own team ladies and gentlemen what are some of the good uh what are some of the good um matchups so open opening day matchups i just dropped the checklist in the chat Car -truck. You know, I kind of like the uh, that Philadelphia Texas matchup. That's Aaron Nola for the Phillies on the bump. Jacob Degrom as a Ranger on the bump. I feel like that's a good that's a good opening pitching matchup. Also, Max Scherzer, Sandy Alcantara, who I believe is your NL Cy Young Award winner, right? So Scherzer versus, it's another NL East divisional matchup. Two good pitchers on the mound. I think those are, the, those are the, some of the matchups that kind of jump out at me. Um, T-Mobile fans, not T-Mobile fans, but T-Mobile uh, customers. I believe if you download the T-Mobile Tuesday app, which I need, which I need to do, um, you can get. Uh, I think starting. I think it was starting today. Here's Matt Chapman, to two fifty. You can get MLB.TV for free for the year. Which is great for uh, which is great for out of market games. Unfortunately, it doesn't help you in market if you need that. But here's Kevin Biggio, forty six out of fifty for the Bluebirds. That's going to go to Nicole in Toronto Blue Jays. We got a Francisco Lindor, Cleveland edition to 150. That'll go to Nicole and the Guardians. More Luis Roberts for uh, the White Sox. That's going to be for John. And a Juan Soto. Wow, Tristan and the Nationals. And that's an on-card autograph. It almost looked like there was, I, th I think they did leave space for a sticker. 
But that's an on-card auto right there. You received a the man autograph card. Nice. Phone dies. Sorry, it's one of those rare opening seasons where every team plays on opening day. Yeah, well, that's what they used to do. So is that? I don't think. I actually think it's not rare. That that used to be the tradition, where every team played on the same day on opening day. But then, for like the last five or seven years or whatever, I think they tried to do like like where one team would play like a Wednesday night baseball sort of island game. When no other team plays and they, they would have that and they would kick that off. But I don't think anyone liked that. So they went back to, they went back to all the teams playing on opening day like it usually was, is. And I want that. I'm not. I'm not sure about this. I'm not as confident about this part. But I think. I want to see. Was it? Was there a time where? Where they they would even be. There would even be all the teams would play on opening day at very similar times as well. They would all be like one o'clock local starts or something like that in the afternoon. But I like having all the games on one day. It's like March Madness. Where like the round of 64 has all, has like pretty much, you're, you're just watching games all day. A lot more buzz, a lot more energy that way. Got some orange. It's orange Brewstar Gratterall. Four out of 25. The Bazooka, as he's nicknamed. Yeah, he, he can throw 100 miles per hour with ease. He needs to work on secondary pitches, which he's been working on. He needs to, if he refines those secondary pitches, I mean, that could, that could be future dominating closer. For for years to come, there's rookie Zach Collins, White Sox, John Eric Houston put me on the TV. How's it look? I think we I think we stream in 1080p maybe. No, I think we might stream in seven something. I think we record videos in 1080p. So if you rewatch videos on your YouTube app on your TV, it should look pretty nice. Maybe even nicer than the stream. We got a green Shohei Otani, 78 out of 99. Believe it or not, this was an era where where uh, people were kind of down on Otani. It just maybe the injury prone tag was about to be labeled, was about to be put on him. That goes to uh, Eric Houston and the Halos. And there is Logan Allen, rookie auto for the Guardians. Nicole. Cleveland, this is for you. All right, another box. Has there been any other, any major baseball news happening here? Leading up to the season, or has there been any surprise? I don't know, maybe it doesn't look like any, any surprise additions to a opening day roster or, or not as the case may be.
I guess maybe not. I guess Christian Pache will not make the A's roster. The former uh, Braves prospect, I want to say. I, f I feel like Christian Pache, I, I had... I had projected him. I've drafted on numerous fantasy squads the last few years, thinking that one of these years he was going to be like this, this 2020 kind of player. You know, good for a third or fourth outfielder, utility spot guy, a little speed power combo, 25 home runs, 20, 21 stolen bases, something like that. Alas, no. Then he got traded to the A's, and now they're not even going to make the roster. Uh, Tristan McKenzie. That's right. That was the news from yesterday, today. He's going to be shut down for a little bit with a Terrace Major strain. Jordan Walker could be a fun, fun prospect to watch. Yeah, Grayson Rodriguez. That must be a service time thing, right? Did not make the did not make the club. I think a lot of people were expecting him to uh, start the season. Hmm. Keston Hira will not make the Brewers roster. Brewster Gratterall to one fifty. Blue, nice little color match. That'll be for James and my Dodgers. And we got Brock Burke, rookie auto for Texas. That'll be for John with the Brock Lobster. Do, 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 do. Got a Dustin May purple, 206 out of 250 for James and the Dodgers. And a Jordan Yamamoto, 140 out of 150, finest firsts. Like he was a solid innings eater his rookie year with the Marlins, and then never really, never really took other steps forward. I don't think he's even on the Marlins anymore. MLB.com has an article that says one thing that we learned about each team's camp during spring training. We're gonna start with the AL East Blue Jays. They're going to run a lot. Apparently, they've been cranking things up. Going to use their speed more often on the bases. Uh, for the Orioles, Adley Rushman. Apparently, uh, he's looking to avoid a sophomore slump. That'd be good. Yeah, like I was saying, Eric, Jordan Yamamoto just really didn't, you know, seem to be a decent innings eater. Looks like he was going to do that, but then, uh, but then just didn't, just kind of tailed off a little bit. Oh, did he retire? I didn't realize that. Yeah, he played for the Marlins and the Mets. He was traded. From the Brewers to Miami for uh, Miami got Yamamoto, Isan Diaz, Lewis Brinson, Monty Harrison. That was a Yelich deal. He was part of the Yelich deal. That's why he was intriguing. And I think in his debut, he pitched seven shutout innings with five strikeouts against the Cardinals. And then he faced the Cardinals again, and he pitched another seven shutout innings with seven strikeouts. And then he set a franchise record with 17 scoreless innings to start the career. So 
which is pretty good. But then kind of tailed off. Then he was traded to the Mets in 2021. And yeah, did sign a minor league deal with the Dodgers in January of this year. And then on March 13th, he announced his retirement from uh, professional baseball. Hmm. Is there any, any reason why? He's a Hawaiian kid, too. He's from Hawaii. All right, we got uh, Adalberto Mondesi, 34 out of 50. Yeah, it didn't say. He has a long, lengthy sort of Twitter message about... that he posted on Twitter, but I don't know if it's... It's just a lot of thank yous and no, no real explanation. I guess when you know, you know. I mean, maybe, I mean he would have to kind of go back and grind through the miners again, go through that whole process. And, and if you don't love it, hey, there's an Austin Riley for Gilo and the Braves. That's what he was, one of the guys he was looking for. But yeah, I mean, if, you're, if your head's not in it. Here's a Jordan Alvarez, the man. Insert. And a Mauricio Dubon rookie autograph for Brian and the Giants, one of his last spot mojo teams. Last spot mojo, 70% of the time. Hits 100% of the time. All right, down to our last two boxes. I guess that trade really didn't work out for anybody, right? <laughs> Brewers traded Yamamoto, Isan Diaz, Lewis Brinson, Monty Harrison for Christian Yelich. Christian Yelich didn't really work out. Or I guess, he, I mean, some injuries got in the way, too. Isan Diaz is now with the Giants. Lewis Brinson, uh, also with the Giants. And Monty Harrison is with the Brewers. I guess Yelich should have won an. I mean, since then, it's like it's like Cody Bellinger. Ooh, play to the whistle, Jake. We still got four autos to go. Four autos to go. Play to the whistle. So pr plenty of break left. I guess Harrison's all right, but he, I mean, none of those guys are on the, right? None of those guys are on the, the Marlins anymore. And in fact, Monty Harrison's back with the Brewers, signed a minor league deal with the Brewers. Yeah, is Isan Diaz the best left? And he's not even with the Marlins anymore, so.
All right, there's George Springer to 150. That's for Eric in Houston. And there is Nico Horner, 27 out of 99. Green Shimmer Autograph. That's for Gilo and the Chicago Cubs. That's the other guy he was looking for. Nice, with a spot he won in the filler. That turned out nicely. There's Kyle Schwarber, Cubs edition for Gilo. That's a 250. Yeah, Rex mentioned that earlier today. Yeah, three-year deal, Nico Horner. Three-year, three $35 million. Not too shabby. And there's a Bryce Harper. Finest moments on card autograph for the fighting Phils. James with the Phillies. There you go. The Phillies trailed the Cubs 5-3 in the bottom of the ninth. On August 15th, 2019, when Bryce stepped up with the bases loaded and won out. With the Citizens Bank Park crowd on its feet, Harper fell behind to the count one and two, then worked it even. He turned on a 95-mile-per-hour fastball on the inner half and demolished it into the second deck in right for a walk-off grand slam. Nice. That's a moment. That's a fine moment. Fine, fine moment. All right, final box coming up. Yeah, we pulled that Bryce Harper autograph baseball earlier tonight. And now one out of finest. Bryce Harper night. There you go. Hey, you're welcome, James. Thanks for getting in. So the Dodgers were in Anaheim, which is about, I don't know, hour-ish away. I mean, from Dodger Stadium to Anaheim, door to door. How long do you think that is, Oliver? Thanks, Arthur. It felt like you were there. I was trying to, I was trying to recreate that moment. Do you think the Dodgers, think they drive together? Like, do you, do you think they take separate cars, or do you think they got on a team bus? Do they have to get on a team bus and go back to Dodger Stadium? Does, does Freddie Freeman have to go all the way on the team bus to Dodger Stadium and then hop in a car and go back to Orange County to go home, back to Newport Beach? You think that's what Freddie has to do? Do you think Freddie gets an exception? Do you think people crash at Freddie's house? It's team bus, so they all have to go back. Yeah, I feel like Freddie gets to just go home, right? I think wifey picks him up and goes home. All right, last box, last two autos. Fingers crossed, good luck everybody. Freddie lives in the hills. Of course they're crashing at Freddie's house. Does he live in the hills? Ooh, nice dual autograph. 46 out of 50. A finest duel. Aristides Aquino and Nick Senzel. Tristan and the Red Legs. I guess the orange Newport Beach Hills. I don't know. Aristides Aquino was a bright spot. That just He just never... He, 
he's never quite worked out. Is Nick Senzel still with the team? He is. Still, he's still with the Reds. According to Wikipedia. All right, there's Trey Turner. Nationals edition to 250. That'll be for Tristan. Aquino's like Kevin Moss. Kevin Moss was actually in the league for a little bit, though, wasn't he? I don't think Aquino is in the league anymore. Is he playing in Japan, or is that someone else? And Will Smith is your final autograph. 37 out of 99, Green Auto, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, born and raised. On the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, James with the Dodgers. Chilling out, Max, and relaxing all school, cool and shooting some b-ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys, they were up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight. Mom got scared and said you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bella. Here's the recap, autograph recap. Nice duel right there. Nice Bryce, Nico, Austin. Some good stuff in here, lady. That Juan Soto. Abraham Toro. Sheldon Noisy started things off. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Uh, is it Kevin Mass? I thought it was Moss. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.